Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Huawei Mate 20X. Now you can pick this up on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 960 bucks. Now I know what y'all getting ready to say. Good Lord, that's a lot of money. But guess what? This is a lot of phone. In fact, this is the biggest phone that I've ever unboxed on my channel. Even bigger than the Honor Note 10. Now this phone has a 6.9 and a half inch display. The Mate 20X is even bigger. So if you like me and you like big phones, get fucking hype. First things first, let's go through the specs. Now this is a GSM only phone. So if you got AT&T or T-Mobile, you're good to go. If you got Sprint or Verizon, you asked out. Now the phone comes in two different colors. You got Midnight Blue or Phantom Silver. For the display, check this out. You got a 7.2 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2244. Now that's 346 for y'all PPI savages. The phone is IP53 dust and splash proof. All right, so it's not water resistant. You can't submerge it, but if you get caught in the rain, you'll be all right. For the processor, you got the high silicone current with 980 with the Mali G76 MP10 GPU. What does that mean? I don't know but it's equivalent to the Snapdragon 845 with the Adreno 630 GPU. Shout out to White Shoes, just popped in on the day off. Now you get six gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of storage and a nano memory slot for expandable memory up to 256 gigs. The phone is running Android 9 VIP, fresh out of the box with the EMUI 9.0 skin on top. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So one is 40 megapixels, that's f1.8, that's a wide angle. You got a 20 megapixel, f2.2, that's ultra wide, and an eight megapixel, f2.4, telephoto lens. On the front, you got a 24 megapixel camera, that's f2.0, wide angle status. For the battery, you got a big giant, non-removable, 5,000 milliamp battery that features fast charge. Now this is not the same fast charge on the Mate 20 Pro, this one is 22.5 watts. The Mate 20 Pro is 40 watts. So it's still fast charge, just not as fast. Now you got dual stereo speakers that feature Dolby Atmos. You get your fingerprint sensor, Bluetooth 5.0, headphone jack, headphone jack. One of my favorite features, the IR blaster, and of course, thought protection. So all of that for 960 bucks, what's missing? The phone is not fully water resistant and there's no wireless charge. Other than that, this is a certified monster. Here we go. Let me grab a little unboxing knife. What we got on deck today. Got the Spider-Man. Here we go. Mate 20X. Now, same presentation as the Mate 20 Pro and the Mate 20 Lite. Just a nice black box. Giggity. Here we go. Look out, shoes. <laughs> Rah! Okay. Shoes knows quality. That's why she popped in on the day off. Here we go. Woo! Now, check this out. Mm. 7.2 inch display. This is a goddamn tablet. Hold up, let me get this out of here. Ra. One more in the back. Ra. Woo! Woo! Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Yo, shoes, calm down. Let's see what else you get in the box. Okay, here's your SIM ejection tool. Got your usual books and shit. Pluck them and follow them. You get a case. Now this is just your standard gel skin case, nothing fancy, but it will protect the phone. Slap it on, see what it looks like. Okay, corner's trolling a little bit. There it is, a little bit of protection. You get your charger. Now this is the international charger. It did come with a USA charger. Let's see what else you get. Headphones. All right, since you got a headphone jack, might as well get some headphones. Rah! Let's see how these look. Standard quality Huawei headphones, plus and minus volume up and down. Here, shoes, do your thing. And we also got USB Type-C charging cable. All right, so that's pretty much it for the box. Let me take this case off and get a little wipe down. Mm, look at this. Now I got big hands, <laughs> ladies, and this is just 
perfect size for me. All right, if you like big phones, you need to check this out. Now on the side, oh, look at this, the red power button. All right, Google, not that green shit. You got a red power button. Let's see if we got any juice. Now, of course, all Huawei phones come with the screen protector already installed. Me, I like to peel these off. Rah. On the bottom, let's see. Here's your speaker grill, uh, USB Type-C. There's your <laughs> SIM tray, another speaker grill at the top. IR blaster on deck, get your trolling levels up. Got a mic, headphone jack. Look at this display. Now, just for size comparison, here's the Honor Note 10, the biggest phone that I currently own. This one is actually a little bit bigger. Giggity. Mm -mm -mm. All right, <laughs> I know I'm too hyped right now. Actually, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. This is the second most hype that I've been for a phone all year. Number one was the Galaxy Note 9. Y'all know that's my favorite phone. And this is the one I've been waiting for because I like big phones. Now the Honor Note 10, this is a beast also. But this one right here, the camera. Now we got the same camera on the Mate 20 Pro, which is gonna be amazing. Big 5,000 milliamp battery. Check this out, no notch. I got the little teardrop. To me, that's no notch. That's a little teardrop, I like that. Anyway, I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna drop my information in, then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes. And just like I said at the beginning of the video, this phone is a certified beast. If you like big phones, you seriously need to check this one out. Now, I can guarantee you, this is gonna be in my pocket every day or as we say in the hood, a day. Now clearly, this phone is not for everybody. If you're walking around with a Galaxy Note 9 and you think this phone is too big, then you're definitely not gonna like this one because check this out. Look at the size difference. <laughs> Shoes, calm down. This phone is way bigger than the Galaxy Note 9. So if you're having a problem holding this one or reaching everything on the display, you're gonna have even more of a problem with the Mate X. Now, if you like me and you got man hands, or you're just somebody that likes big phones, you're gonna love this phone right here. All right, shoes, calm down. First things first, build quality. The build quality on this phone is A1. All right, it's beautiful. Look at the back of this. You see that shimmeriness? Nice and heavy, has a premium feel to it. Feels good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Now, let's break it down. First things first, always on display all right so this is android 9 vip so you got your always on display now you got a couple of different ways to open up the phone shoes is trolling today <laughs> shoes calm down all right a couple of different ways to open up the phone first you got your face unlock i just look at it and it unlocks do that again you see you see that little lock screen i look at it now i got a hat on let me do that again you see it's locked right now i'm gonna look at it opens right up so now I'll just keep looking at it. We'll try a few times. Super fast. Next, you also got your fingerprint. Now the fingerprint sensor is in a nice placement. Pretty high. <laughs> I like it like that though. One of the fastest fingerprint sensors in the game. Y'all know how Huawei does. No problems with that. Or if you want, you can just open it up old school, swipe up, and put in your pad in or your pin. Next, the display. Now this is why you buy in this phone. This big 7.2 inch display is just amazing. Now, I've been saying this for years. I've been hoping that they came out with a big phone like this. And here it is. This is like having a tablet and a phone combined. Now a lot of phones, they say phablet, this is a real phablet right here. Look at this. Now I got the display on max brightness, but check this out, it just looks beautiful. I had to take it to the high voice. Now for real though, this display is banging. All right, AMOLED panels, everything is vibrant. I'm almost at a loss for words, almost. Let's go through all the features. All right, so here's your toggles. Of course, you got your basic flashlight, auto-rotate. You got a screenshot. All right, I like having a little screenshot button. 
Now you can do the double tap with the knuckles. We'll check that out in a minute too. Let's get this out of here. All right, what else we got? Dolby Atmos. You got your wireless projection, NFC of course, ultra power saver, navigation dock. Now you might need that for this phone because it's so big. So here's your little floating navigation dock. You can move this around to wherever you want. But say I'm on YouTube and I wanna exit out, hit the button and go back. This way, if you got your phone in the hand like this, you can have the button set up right here so everything will be right in the middle of the screen. You can also shrink the screen if you want. All right, let's see anything else we need to check out on the toggles. You got your eye comfort mode. You're reading your messages in the middle of the night. Turn that on. Let's take it over to settings now, of course. It looks like a lot, but you can hit this button and edit them out, make it less if you want. Let's go to settings. All right, so let's breeze through all of the settings. Here's your wireless networks. You got your mobile networks, data usage, uh, private DNS, blah, blah, blah. Let's exit out of that. Device connectivity. Now, hold up, let me turn this uh, navigation dock off. All right, so you got NFC. You got Huawei Beam, Huawei Share, Easy Projection. You got your printing. Let's go to home screen and wallpaper. Now you can change all your magazine unlock, themes, wallpapers, home screen settings. If you want, you can change the uh, layout. I got it on five by six. This, this is a big giant screen. You're gonna wanna have a lot of apps, but if you want, you can have four by six or five by five. Let's cancel that, auto align or shake. Uh, app icon badges, I'll leave that on. So this way when you get a notification, Whatever app you're in, you get that little green bubble. Let's see app suggestions, home screen loop. Now, if you if you want, let me see. I'll turn that. I'll turn that on right now. Home screen loop means you can just keep going back and forth. But the problem with that is you're gonna lose your high board. So now you got kind of like uh, your old school uh, flip board. Let's keep it moving. Let's see what else we got. Uh, lock screen signature. Let me add something in here. Why not? Let's put in uh, flossy. <laughs> Why not? Got a little lock screen signature on deck, always on display. Change the times, I got it set to all day, why not? 5,000 milliamp battery, you're gonna need that. Uh, show step count. When you're walking around, take a look at your phone, see how many steps you took for the day, let your fat ass get some workouts. Let's keep it moving, what else? Let's go to display. Now of course, douchebag status, max brightness. You can put it on auto adjust if you want. Let's go to color temperatures and mode. Let's see you got normal. Now look, look, we'll go through the differences real quick. Here's normal, kind of has a yellowish hue to it. Vivid, I like that. Now you can also change the color temperature if you want. Here's default, that has a little yellow too. Warm is maximum yellow and cool, nice and cold. I like it like this, kind of has a blue tint to it. Ice cold, I like that. Let's go to our uh, sleep, I'll leave that on 10 minutes, eye comfort. You can have that scheduled. See now this way, you don't have to use it from the uh, the toggles. You can have it set to a timer. So if you want, if you know you normally go to sleep at 10 o'clock at night, put the eye comfort mode to start at 11 and say you know you wake up at eight o'clock in the morning, let it turn off at seven o'clock. So this way, while you're sleeping, it'll always be on. Let's see, uh, let's see uh, screen resolution. Now if you want, you can put that on smart and it'll, it'll adjust accordingly. But me personally, I like to just leave it on maximum, full HD. Let's see, that's it for that. Let's see, let's go to sounds. Call volume sounds. Now I got, I think I got this on mute. Let's see, yeah, why not? Let's get some uh, sound. Let's see how loud this ringtone is. <laughs> nice and loud, I like that, I like that. Let's see, <laughs> notification sounds, you got a bunch of them. Let's see, uh, Adobe Atmos. Now when you're playing your music, you got three different modes. You got smart, movie, or music. I'll leave it on smart, this way the computer could do the work for me. And you got more sound settings. Uh, screenshot, turn that off. So when you're taking your clandestine Instagram screenshots of the buns, nobody needs to know. Uh, startup sound, leave that on if you want. Cell broadcast. All right, so you got your Amber Alerts, leave those on. Extreme threats, severe th uh, threats, show test broadcast. Yo, how many of y'all got that presidential alert the other day? <laughs> when I seen that, I, I looked, I seen Donald Trump on my phone. I'm like, yo, bro, stop playing on my phone, man. You can turn that on off if you want. Stop playing on my phone, son. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so that's it for the sounds. Let's go to, uh, all right, you got apps. Now you can set twin apps if you want. Have two of the same apps, two different logins. One for you, one for your troll account. Everybody got a troll account. Don't front. 
Let's see, y'all. Let's go to battery. Now, check this out. Now, I got it on performance mode. You can turn that off if you want. You see the icon disappeared? Leave it on performance mode. It's going to make everything run a little bit faster. Only problem with that is if you're doing heavy gaming or you're doing heavy multitasking, the phone might heat up a little bit. Now, check this out. 5,000 milliamp battery. If I put it on power saving mode, 44 hours and 49 minutes left. If I put it on ultra power saving mode right now, 174 hours. That's incredible. Let's see, you got your battery usage. Check that out if you want. Let's see all the apps that's killing your battery. Manage those accordingly. Now, darken interface colors. You always gotta do this on the Huawei phones because look how badass that looks. Always do that immediately. All right, let's see, anything else? Let's go to storage. All right, now this is 128 gigs, maximum storage. You can clean that up if you want. I don't really got none, so we ain't gotta do that. Let's see, you got digital balance. All right, now I'll tell you uh, how you're using your phone. Just manage your screen time, manage all your apps. If you want, you can turn on screen management. I'll leave that alone though. Security and privacy, you got find my device, leave that on. Fingerprint, face unlock, screen passwords, private space. Now a lot of people have been asking me about thought protection, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, but if you don't know how to turn it on, go to your settings, security and privacy, turn on private space. Now you also got file, sa uh, file safe, this way you can encrypt your photos, encrypt your videos, encrypt uh, different files. I don't need that because I got thought protection. <laughs> Why not? Smart assistance. All right, so you got one-handed UI. You shrink the whole screen keyboard. This is a big phone, you might need that. Let's go to motion controls, flip to mute. Somebody's calling you, flip the phone over, it'll mute it. Pick up, now you can actually change this. I got it so right now when I pick up the phone, it automatically wakes the device. But you can set it to three different tone, uh, three different uh, features. So if you want, say you're getting a phone call, you pick it up, it'll reduce the call volume. And the same thing with the alarms. Might as well leave all three on, why not? Raise to ear. Now, say you're getting a phone call, turn that on. If you're getting a phone call, your phone is on the table, all you gotta do is put the phone to your ear, it'll automatically answer. Same thing, you wanna contact, you wanna make a phone call, you're scrolling through your text messages, all you gotta do, you get to that contact, put, uh, put the phone to your ear, it'll make the call. Smart speaker, say you're using a Bluetooth speaker, now you gotta take a phone call, once you put it to your ear, it'll go from the Bluetooth to your phone so you don't blow your uh, conversation up. Same thing with Bluetooth headsets, we'll leave that on. All right, let's take it over to the uh, knuckle gestures, double tap for the screenshot. Y'all seen that before? Draw different letters, open up apps. I draw the letter C, that opened up the camera. But if you want, you got E for Chrome, M for music, W for weather. And of course, knuckle gesture for the split screen. So say I'm in YouTube and I wanna do split screen. Draw the line. Opens up the split screen apps. Now I got I, I keep forgetting, I keep going like this. I got you gotta really use the back of the knuckle. I don't use that feature that much, that's why I always forget, but it's not hard to do. <laughs> as soon as I say it's not hard to do, of course it's hard to do. Like that. Now, keep in mind, I got my arm stretched out. I'm in an unnatural position. You can get the hang of it and you'll be able to rock that easily. But full sc uh, split screen multitasking. So let's take it over to Facebook. So I can be on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. All right, let's see anything else in the settings that we need to look at. Where was we? All right, so that's that. Let's see, I, I said, did we go through all the smart assistants? You got glove mode. Smart cover, if you get one of those cases, like an S-View case, turn that on. Glove mode, it's winter time right now. You rocking the glove, turn that on. It increases the sensitivity on your display. And that's pretty much it. Let's go to system, about phone, Android 9, VIP. And we out here. All right, now, let me show you the display and the speakers. Let me pull up a video real quick. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's do one of my normal tests just for the display, then we'll test the speakers. First for the display, all right, we got one of these uh, old school driving videos. Look at this display. That's, that's the main reason why this phone is gonna be in my pocket every day. Look at this. All right, shout out to me driving around with the gloves on looking like an official douchebag. But that's how I do. I right, douchebag status 24 seven. Look at this beautiful display though. 
This is how you want to watch your movies. Trust me. All right, now let me pull up another video. Let's pull up the uh, bike life so you can hear the speakers. Check this out. Let's make sure this is max volume. Listen to this. Dual speaker, so one on the bottom, one on the top. I'm literally in love with this display though. Imagine you got a nice dock at work and you got your phone set up like this. You basically watching TV. I'd as opposed to watching it on a little iPhone or one of these little small phones. This is how you're gonna kill mad hours at work watching YouTube videos. Look at that. Edge to edge display. I can do this all day. All right, so display speakers major go. Now let's check out. Uh, <laughs> let's check a look. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, app browsing speed. Apple.com. Here's the internet right here. Let's go to Apple. Full website. Look at this though. This is how you want to shop online. But nice and fast though. No lag. Now I know somebody's gonna ask, what's the difference between the Honor Note 10? Let me get my scumbag activity out of here. Honor Note 10 and the Mate 20X. Why is this one so much more expensive? Well, this one has the newer version of the uh, high silicone current processor, newer GPU. The camera on this one is 10 times better than this one. Now, if you just want a big giant phone and you don't wanna spend that much, I highly recommend the Honor Note 10. I've been using this phone pretty much every day, strictly for watching videos. But now that I got this one, it's game over. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you too in the settings. Check this out. Let's go to our uh, display. Did we go to display? Let's go to display. Let's go to more settings. Notch. Now you got your notch settings. You see the notch on the top? If you want, you can get rid of it. Now, it's hard to see. Let me put the um, background back to light first. Then you can see the, uh, <laughs> the notch. I know, hold this out. Let's see, let's go to display. Let's go to more settings. All right, notch. You see right now the notch is off. Turn it on. Turn it off. Now with the phone like this, it does look dope, but this is not a real notch. This is a teardrop. I'll just leave it like this. Why not? But again, if you're not down with nacho cheese, turn it off. Let's leave it on. And let's go back to uh, battery. And we got to get that badass dark and interface colors. Boom. Now, two more things we gotta take a look at. Let's go over to the camera. Whew. Now, honestly, a lot of people have been asking me about the Mate 20 Pro. I'm gonna review this live on stream on Sunday. All right, this Sunday night, I'm doing a big stream. We're gonna review all of the phones that I haven't got into. Cause I ain't got time to make all these separate videos. But the camera, these are both identical cameras. I would say this is my favorite cell phone camera. Now, if we're gonna argue and get into a camera debate, yeah, the Google Pixel 3 XL is probably the best camera in the market. Sometimes when I pull out the Pixel 3 and I take a picture, sometimes I, I, I just take a second and just sit back in awe. Like sometimes I take a picture, I, I, I took some pictures today at a car, I got a fresh car wash. I'll take some pictures, especially at nighttime. I'll take a picture and pull it up on the Pixel 3 XL and I just gotta look at it. Like I can't believe this is a phone camera picture. Pixel 3 XL has the best camera on the market. But my favorite camera is this one right here. And part uh, part of the reason to, of that is the artificial intelligence. Let me show you the camera real quick. So you got a whole bunch of different modes. You got aperture, all right, that's gonna be your black, uh, background blur. You got night photos, you got portrait. Now portrait, you, gotta, you have to have a face to use that. But that's, what, that's the good thing. Now you see you got iPhone XR, you can only take portrait modes of people with a face. This one has aperture mode, so just in case you wanna take a picture of a cheeseburger and you wanna make it look like a portrait mode, put it on aperture and you can take a picture of anything. Now if you're taking pictures of people, put it on regular portrait mode. You got photo, regular photo mode, artificial intelligence on deck. You got video, you got pro mode, I right, change the ISO, white balance, everything you want and you got more. Now when you go to more, this is again, this is one of the reasons why I love Huawei phones. Look at all these features and options. 
slow motion, panoramic, monochrome, AR lens, light painting, HDR, time lapse, filter, 3D panoramic, watermark, documents, and you can download more. Let's see, is there anything? Ah, oh, you got good food, might as well add that. You know, have that ham sandwich looking extra hammy. Let's see, y'all, let's go to AR lens. All right, now, y'all remember this? Look, look how it works. That's me shaking my head behind the camera. I'm gonna close my eyes. Close one eye. You got the wolf. <laughs> ruff, ruff. Uh, chill, Zerks, chill, calm down. Zerks thought it was a dog in the building. You got the blowfish. I'm trying to make it sound. Little, what's that? Little, little, could be a, a bird, whatever. The rabbit. You know, when, remember back in the days when you seen somebody with buck teeth? You make that sound. <laughs> the buck teeth sound. You got the cherry with the Beats headphones on. Now look, I'm going to try to talk and make the cherry talk with me. I'm shaking my head side to side and talking. That's nice, yo. That's nice. Let's see. You got this uh, little Tin Man robot. And of course... You got the cat. Why does cat look extra angry? All right, so let me show you how the AR camera works. Put it in regular photo mode. Now say I wanna take a picture of a cat. Watch this. You see on the bottom it says cat? The camera automatically knows that that's a cat and not a dog. Now if I had a picture of a dog, let's see, I might have one. Here's a picture of a dog, let's try that again. All right, here's a dog. You see it says dog? That is so sick, and that's why this is my favorite camera. It knows the difference between green grass, green lettuce, food, the sky. It makes your pictures just look extra vibrant and extra beautiful. Now let me show you some pictures that I took real quick. Check this out. All right, let's start from the beginning. Now of course my, my usual test subject, look at the shoes. Look at this picture. Now this is point and shoot, no pro mode, no playing with settings, it's point and shoot. Look at the detail. This is incredible. Look at this, look at this. Beautiful. Regular white shoe shots, that's my test subject right here. This is what goes on behind the camera. Y'all can't see right now, but shoot, look, look how close shoes be playing me while I'm shooting the video. At the edge of the table. But look at this camera. You get the idea. This is just incredible. Like I said, this now this is this is um a portrait shot. You see the background's kind of blurred out. This is regular. Nice close up, angry eyes. I love Huawei cameras. All right, let's get back to that first one because I need to see that one more time. Look at this. The camera on this phone is amazing. Anyway, oh, one more thing now before I get out of here. <laughs> I can't forget the best feature of Huawei phones, thought protection. Check this out. So let's go to, uh, let me show you how this works. All right, so here's my usual thought protection demo. Now I'm gonna open the phone using my right hand and my regular fingerprint. This is my phone. Now let's check out some of the apps. Here's Instagram. You see me at the top. This is my Instagram. All right, let me go ahead and like that photo. Let's take it over to Facebook. This is my Facebook. There's me right there. And let's go over to photos. Here's the last picture that I took. White shoes. Now I'm gonna lock the phone. Keep your eye on the background. You see the kind of clouds. You see all of these apps. I'm gonna lock it. Now I'm gonna open the phone using my left hand and my thought print and watch what happens. Notice the background changes, all of those apps disappeared. Now my phone is in full scumbag mode. Let's take it over to Instagram. No Instagram logged in. Let's take it over to Facebook. No Facebook logged in. Let's take it over to photos. No pictures taken. And of course, I got my Tinder. I right, get your swipe on, soul swipe, that's the black Tinder. And of course, X videos for the baby oil patrol. Now, when I wanna exit out of this, open it back up using my right hand. Look at the smooth transition. Now I'm back to normal. There's my Instagram again. There's my Facebook again. 
There's my photos. This is mandatory on all new cell phones. I don't know why these other companies ain't copying, but y'all need to jump on the thought protection bandwagon. Shout out to Xiaomi. They the only other company doing it like this. Matter of fact, Xiaomi has the fastest switch. Let's show you that switch again. Watch the left hand. And we'll do the right hand. Now this phone is switching a lot faster than the last Huawei phone I did, but that was a budget phone. This is a big boy, so I expect it to be a little faster. Seamless transition. I love it. Anyway, overall, fresh out of the box on a scale of 1 to 10, this is a major, major, major go. And like I said, this is definitely going to be in heavy rotation for me. I would put this right now, as far as Android phones go, this is my third favorite android phone number one would still be the galaxy note number two i'm going with the, the, the mate 20 pro this one just uh, has a little bit more features got the wireless charge got the on-screen fingerprint sensor let me get my dms off the screen oh just just in case you want to see check this out here's the difference between the mate 20 pro and the mate 20x look at the size difference now of course with the mate 20x you got a bigger battery bigger display same camera with the mate 20 pro you got a smaller battery smaller display but you got wireless charge got the on-screen fingerprint sensor and you got a few more features in the camera this is amazing right here this is the new phone right here now you do have a stylus that you could get but the reason i won't get it is because where are you going to put it i'm not going to be walking around with a separate stylus but they do have one available anyway this is the Huawei mate 20x the X stands for excellent. You need this, all right? You need this. If you're looking for a big phone, you really only got two choices. You get the Honor 10 or you get the Mate 20X. Now, if you're just looking for a secondary phone that you want to watch YouTube videos and you want to do big boy stuff with a big boy display, then you could go either way. But if this is going to be your main phone and you want your main phone to be big, spend that extra couple of dollars and get the 20X. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas. Ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. All right, one more thing I wanted to mention, the GoFundMe campaign for the Mate 20 RS Porsche design is still active. Now, shout out to everybody that been asking me to review that phone. That phone cost $2,500. So far, we raised 400 bucks. Now, if I can raise half of that, I'll put in the other half, and everybody that donated will automatically be entered into a chance to win the Mate 20 Pro. Now, if I can't reach half of that goal, I'm just gonna pass on that phone, and I'm gonna refund everybody's donations. All right, so I'll leave the link in the description. I'll leave that campaign up for another two weeks.